Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and I got the blue Punisher Gen 8 back to go with the orange Punisher Gen 8. The guy who originally owned this truck, um, when I got it from him the first time, it had no upgrades or anything, just some lights, and that's about it. I'll take the bodies off. And body off this one. So what we're going to talk to today about is the upgrades that we're going to do to this truck as well as this truck. Now, I'm going to flip them over. Now this one was mine since so new. And uh, as you can see, um, I did replace the uh, front chassis. Uh, section to metal which was plastic and this one here he when I gave it back to him installed the um, is this part right here now what this part does is relocates the servo uh, if I didn't have this plate on here you could see a little bit better but as you know the servo on the stock you see how the arm comes from here way out here and it puts it in the line of fire and that's why I got the shield and if you notice with the club 5 it puts the servo repositioned and the arms way back here so that way it's not in the line of fire anymore it's out of the way um, the only thing that I'm not reason I'm not putting this on yet is because I do need to get the um, club 5 links which are right here and you see there's a shorter link and all that and what I am going to be installing since he's already done the work on this is I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, they're, they're referred to as shock towers metal shock towers but they're actually part of the chassis as well taking our two millimeter we're going to need to undo the screws on the side of the chassis here elevate subject here so we're going to take this cross member here off so we got that side off now we just got to take off the pan hard put the wrong ones back in place right back so we got one side completed one side needs to be done so we'll be replacing this with this so we just got to take these two screws out of this bridge and two screws out of what would have been the servo for the you know, spot for the servo originally and it strip out so I'm going to use the 2-5 style head with a short screw and then we're going to put a little drop of Loctite on here so we don't lose our steering turn off the truck a second okay turn it back on And look at that swing. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Now this, these rails here will slide inside your chassis rails. And just got to guide everything through here. back in place and let's uh, let's get a couple screws in here to make sure we got everything in line up okay so there's a total of one two three four five and six screws per side that you need to put back 
when done. And so we're going to put all these back in place. And of course, we can't forget the shock. Okay, so we got the pan hard back in place. Now we're going to just put the shock back in its place. Okay, let's get the other side done. Put the remainder of the screws back in. Okay, so we got all the six screws in. Now let's just get the shock back in place. And we should be pretty good there. for the steering I am not using the stainless steel ones because they tend to be junk sometimes so we're going to use there you are and we are going to add some of the uh, blue lock tight on. Hmm. Let's put the steering back in place. back on you know, a little movement here for some reason I don't know why the pan hard it's giving me so much movement here So it looks like the movement I'm getting is a little slop right here where the plastic meets the axle. So we're going to fix that before I get this thing completely put together because that's the only place that's really moving right now. Sure, a problem here. Okay, I'll be right back. <clears throat> That's some crazy turning. 
I think that increased the turning radius on this truck too, which is awesome. Okay, let's flip it back over. Okay, yeah, let's get the bumper back on. And then we'll get all these wires back to where they need to be. And that's it. So there you got it, guys. We just added the aluminum shock towers by Red Cat. I also added the 25 kg servo by Red Cat. And then the part that was already installed in here is this right here and it's the repositioning for the servo which apparently gives you a lot better turning radius from what I can tell here I mean like that's some crazy turning so I'll do a comparison here in about a minute with the orange since I still have it pretty much stock and uh, get everything out of the way here and we'll do a comparison here be right back hey guys this is the orange with still the stock servo mount style you know the cross member one and this is the new one all redone so steering I don't know about you guys, but I can see a big difference. Major difference. So yes, this one's going to be getting it too. So we're removing the stock bumper spot, pulling the servo out, and changing it out. And that way it'll have it. This has already got a 25 kg in it, so we just got to take the servo out, reposition it, put it all back together, and it'll be good to go. So there you guys have it, guys. This new positioning gives you better steering. I mean, look, versus, I see a difference. So, hopefully you guys can, you on the camera. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs.